What's up, guys? This is one of my views. Today, we're gonna do episode 76. We're almost there to 100. I can't believe I've been doing this for almost 100 episodes already. Maybe the first season will just be 100 and then I'll just continue on. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. I mean, I can keep going. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, as long as I remember the episode, as long as I remember the episode number, it's like I'm good. So, yeah, if you have not, please subscribe if you have not already. We're almost there to 150 subscribers. Because, like I said in the previous videos, it's like I want to make a goal. I want to reach 150 subscribers by the, by the end of February before my birthday on the 19th. Yeah, excuse me. So, yeah. Yeah, that will be it for now. So, yeah. So, on in the video. We're doing episode 76, I believe. Yeah. We're doing episode 76, Pieces of Woman. Oh, boy. Where do I begin with this one? Pieces of Woman came out... Well, technically last year, but I'm going to call it this year because technically I had a Netflix release this year because it was at some stupid festivals. And so my area came out last year. But yet, I mean, technically my area came out on the 7th of January on Netflix and I watched it right away. And boy, was it awful. Yes. Was this movie awful? Yes, it is. I hated this movie. <clears throat> The first 30 minutes, it's like I couldn't handle it. I watched the rest of it, and it was just pretty boring. Second worst sex scene I've seen in the movie. It's just, I don't know. It's not a movie for me. I don't know. But it's like pieces of a woman. It's just, yeah. It was okay. I did not want to see Charlotte Buff's butt or private area. But it's just like, okay, whatever. It was just not a good movie. I don't know. I understand what the plot of the movie was, but it's just not for me. It's mostly for women. <coughs> like, of course, I always thank my mother for bringing me into this world every day. I thank her for everything. <laughs> not one person on, on stupid letterbox. Well, you're not stupid, but I'm just saying. I always thank my mother. But anyway, peace is a little woman. It's just not great. I don't know. I gave it... I gave it a... Well, out of five, I gave it a two... Yeah, because I did not enjoy it. There were some parts I enjoyed, but it's just like, eh, it was just an okay movie. Just like everything else I've seen that involves women's problems. <laughs> it's just not a good movie. It's like, I don't hate Vanessa Kirby and what's his name, Shia Buff, But it's just like in this kind of movie? No, they don't work together in this kind of movie. I don't know. <coughs> but it's just like, this movie was just bad all around. It was boring way too long. It needs to be at two hours and seven minutes. <laughs> it was just honestly way too long. I'm surprised I even watched the whole thing. Yeah, I skipped the first 30 minutes because she was giving birth. It's like, I don't like women giving birth. I don't want to see that <laughs> at all. And it's like, this is a spoiler review. Not really a spoiler. Eh, kind of a spoiler. I don't know if any of you guys ever watched it. But it's just like, it's on Netflix if you guys want to watch it. But yeah, Faces of a Woman. Not a great movie. Don't watch it. You could skip it. I'll be surprised if this gets nominated for an Oscar or something. Because if it does, I'll be like, what the hell are people smoking these days? It's like, <clears throat> real talk. Whenever I see a movie that has a high score on Rotten Tomatoes, anywhere above a 50 or 60, it's like, okay, I have to watch it now. It has a high score. And then I watch it, and it's like, what the hell was that? That was not worth the whatever. Like the other day, yeah, like the other day I watched Han the new Gretel and Hansel movie. <laughs> it's like it has a 65. I was like, okay, it might be decent. And it's like watching. I was like, wow, that was the boringest shit I ever watched. I fell asleep more than the actual characters did in the movie. So yeah, Pieces of a Woman. You could skip this movie if you want. <laughs> I don't care what you guys think about my opinion. It's just my opinion. Yeah, you could skip it. Yeah, maybe that'll be one of my review terms. <laughs> whatever it's just like yeah maybe I'll just do like skip it if it's a movie I hate watch it if it's a movie I love or just like it's okay it's a good watch if it's just a movie it's just like I'm okay with yeah maybe I'll do that in the future I don't know yeah so Peace of the Woman was there anything I enjoyed of it actually it looks good but it's just like eh. And that's the second movie in a row I watched with the woman in the title. <laughs> One of these days I'll get around to watching Promising Young Woman. I want to watch that for sure because it has a revenge point. Hopefully it's better than Kill Bill 2. 
He is. I think the best Avenged movie is, of course, Kill Bill 1. Yeah, because at least that movie was great. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> oh, wow. Five minute review. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Um, what else is there? Yeah. So, Pieces of a Young Woman. You could skip it. It's just a terrible movie all around. And I don't care what you guys think about my opinion. It's just my opinion. As coming from an 18-year-old man's perspective of the movie. It's just not great. It's like there are movies specifically for women. And there are movies specifically for men. Well, there's movies for all sorts of people. But it's like I watch all kinds of movies. Because it's like whenever I see that high Rotten Tomato score. It's like I got to watch it. Yes. <clears throat> so yeah, skip it if you want. I just hate this movie in general. <laughs> At least this won't be the only time I'll talk about it. Once at the end of the year when I do my movies and rank them best and worst. <laughs> or like I did last year, I could just do worst from best. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Comment down below what you want me to watch next.